there's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! Can you believe what we just saw? The most important thing for a new sports better to know is bankroll management. If done right, it will not only guarantee that you will never lose all of your money, but it's going to give you the opportunity to build your bankroll safely. So let's talk about the first thing to know about bankroll management, and that is having a max bet limit of 5% of your bankroll. The reason why is because if you're only betting 5% of your bankroll each time, you'll never lose all of your money. It's mathematically impossible. Another reason to have a max bet limit is because this is how you're going to set yourself up for success in sports betting. The most successful people in sports betting use it as a long-term investment to build their profit over time. The ones who have profited a fortune have done so over the span of decades. It's very important to keep this in mind. Now, let me show you what this success will look like. Just for example, let's say that I have $1,000 in my bankroll. Since I'm limiting my bets to 5% of this bankroll, that means that I'm betting $50 every time. Now, as your bankroll increases and decreases, the amount that you're betting, which is called your unit size, Uh, my unit? <laughs> yes, your unit size should be adjusting according to this new bankroll amount. I'll talk about when I like to make this adjustment later in the video, but for the sake of making the math easier for this example, let's keep it at $50 for every bet, and let's say that every month has 30 days, because why not? All right, in this example, I will be making one bet every single day, and after the first month, I won 60% of my bets. 60% of 30 days is 18 winning days. Take away 12 of these for the 12 losing days, and that leaves me with a profit of six wins and six units. Since my unit size is $50, that means I gain $300 from winning 60% of 30 bets. But let's take it even further. Let's say that after a year, I had eight months that I won 60% of 30 days and four months where I lost 60% of 30 days. This means I would have four months of profits at $300 a month, which equates to $1,200 after a year. In this example, I doubled my bankroll and it took me a year to do it. This is how you should approach sports betting. Now there is the question of how much should my unit size be? We have our max bet limit, but that's just there to make sure we don't run out of money. How much should I be wagering on any given bet? In my years of research, I have found two very important rules that should never be broken. Doing so can very quickly tear down several months of work that it took to get there. Rule number one is very easy, and that's choose a percent that does not exceed your max bet limit. This is going to be your unit size. If you want to play it safe, then one to two percent is considered to be conservative, or three to five percent if you want to be aggressive. This percent is entirely up to you. The most important thing to remember is to not exceed your limit. To show why this is important, let's say that I decide to go over the limit. I'm sick of all these short gains over time. I want to win some real money, right? I found the perfect bet. There's no way it can lose. It's basically a guaranteed win. So I confidently bet 50% of my bankroll feeling like the sharpest tool in the shed, and then it loses. What the f***? Think about how much money I just lost and how much time it took to accumulate that much. All of that research and patience, all for nothing. And all because I broke rule number one. Ignoring this rule and chasing big gains is not a good strategy. You will run out of money. Your sports betting career will come to an end. You will get pregnant. You will get chlamydia and die. The second rule I want to talk to you about is to always bet the same amount. You don't want to bet 2% on one game and then 5% on the next. Essentially, you want to choose a unit size and stick to it. If the bets that you won have a smaller unit size than the bets that you lost, then all of that profit is gone. To ensure that your winning percentage turns into profit, you must bet the same amount every time. Your unit size shouldn't change until it's time to adjust it according to your new bankroll amount. One of the reasons I like to use 5% as my unit size is to simplify the math. If I had $100, then my unit size would be 5% of 100, which is 5. 
Now that we have these two numbers, we can simply start adding $5 to our unit size for every $100 we gain in our bankroll. If 5% of 100 is 5, then 5% 5 of 200 is 10. 300 would be 15, 400 is 20, and 500 is 25. I will also use this ratio to decide when to adjust my unit size. If I have $500, that means I'm betting $25 every time until I break 600. Once I break 600, I can start betting $30 every time. Or, if I lose $100 and drop to $400, then I adjust my unit size to 20. Makes it real easy for those of us who are not math geniuses. As for the way I like to wager, I would consider myself aggressive with my unit size, but safe with my bet selection. I bet the maximum 5%, but I only take the bets or use the strategies that I'm most confident in. Some days that means making only two bets or even just one bet. I hope you found this information useful and I hope you use it to get the most out of your sports betting. If you did find it useful, you know what to do. My name is Michael Wright. This is Sports Betting Done Right, and I'll catch you in the next one.